Hi guys, Libby here and in this tutorial video we're going to show you how to make a moving arrow that you can use on your squeeze pages. Now we're going to use tools that are completely free that you can find online so you don't need to have anything like Photoshop, uh, even paint, that kind of thing. So the first thing we need is we're going to go into uh, what I've used before, pixelr.com slash editor and create new image. Now decide how wide you want your final image to be, so I'm just going to do say um, 120 pixels by 50. Now what I'm going to do over here is over here where the background layer is, I'm actually going to make another layer because I don't want to be drawing on my background layer, I want to be drawing on the layer on top of it. So there it is there. Now I'm going to choose uh, the, the pen tool here on the left, click on the pencil tool and you'll see at the top it gives me options here of how wide I want it. I find this little brush here I've been using the 9 is quite good so if you want to change that just click on this wee arrow there and you'll get choices of how fat you want your brush, you can even make little stars that kind of thing but I'm just going to go with the 9 and if you just click on click on it and then click out it'll keep your selection because there is no OK button. Uh, decide what colour you want, I'm having a red arrow and the way you do that, say if, if um, when you first open it up it'll be black and white like this be around that way I'd say but click on click on the top left uh, color whatever that one is and you'll bring a little it'll open a little color picker and then in here you can just choose which color you want you can use this choose your color but what I do is I just come down here and I just put in CC 0000 and that is a particular type of red color that has shown to convert well on um, in headlines and squeeze pages so that's what I always use CC Oh, 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 oh. So I've got my colour, I've got my pencil tool, and I've picked a nine, and I'm just going to draw on, on this layer. I'm just going to draw my arrow. So start from the left, and what we want is we want to start from the left, but not make it too far from the right, because this is the entire image. So our arrow is going to start here on the left and move across to the right. So my arrow body and my arrow head. Oh, that's quite a good one. <laughs> Normally they get a bit crazy. Now if I decide that I don't want that one, or I want to put an extra line there, I can use over here the, with the, um, the history, is go back and say no I don't want that line, don't want that one, don't want that one. But mine's quite good so I'm going to keep it. So that is our first image. Now so what we have to do is we're going to make a series of images and then we're going to put them into a little animation tool that will make it into one animated image. Now the thing is about Pixlr is fantastic little uh, graphics tool like a wee cut down version of Photoshop and you don't have to use this, this one's just free and it's web based and I just I like it. You need something that's got layers so you need something either Photoshop or this or GIMP um, that kind of thing, something with layers so you can't use um, Microsoft Paint but this one here, the, the downside to this little one here, this this um, Pixlr, is that it doesn't. You need to save the files as a GIF, which is a um, some people call them GIF or GIF file. And this one what doesn't save as GIF. So what we have to do is we save it as a JPEG, change it into a GIF, and then make it into the animated GIF. So we go File, Save, and we're just going to call this Arrow One and see how it's going to save it as a JPEG. Actually, we'll save it as a PNG. That's probably better. Save it as a PNG file. We want to save it to my computer, not on Pixlr. Okay, and we're just going to save it onto the desktop. Arrow one. Let's save there. Now here's the nifty trick. Come back, come back to your to Pixlr and click on this top right button here on the tools, and this is the moving tool. And it, it, now what you can do is just use your little keyboards, keyboard arrows left and right, and just move. Use your right arrow and just watch here very closely. I'm going to hit my little arrow key five times, six times, and move it across. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll do it eight. Okay, so it's moved our image. And because you've got two separate layers here, it's kept the white background and just moved the the uh, graphic of the image across. So I did that eight times. So, file, save, and save that as number two. Okay, and it will save it to the same place. My desktop. That's fine. Come back here. And because we're already on this move tool, we don't need to click that again, but I just did. And use your arrows keys and do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Until it's slow, it's slow there, but that was 8. File, save, and that's number 3. 
save and back here again on the move tool one two three four five six seven eight file save and it does seem if it seems like a bit of a hassle you do actually get very quick at it one two three four five six seven eight I'm going to do a few more that one. There we are. That one I did about 12 there. So uh, you can see what I've done is I've basically just moved the arrow, not up, arrow not up and down, but side to side using my keys. So file, save, and that's arrow 5. Now if you're in Photoshop at this point, you should be saving them as a .gif file, and then you don't need to do this next step. Go OK, and save that one. Now the next step is we have to convert those from a PNG file to a GIF file and I'm just going to do this online using a very handy little um, online image converter and I just did a, did a search for free online image converter and this one, cool, it's, it's, uh, cool utilities I'd say, cool, cooltils.com slash online slash image dash converter and if you do as I say I just did a Google search here so if we if we do a Google search for free online image converter, here it is here. And then it's just a matter of browsing for your files. They were on the desktop. Here they are here. So we'll start with arrow one. Pin, and we want to convert it to a GIF. See how I've just it's uploading it? Just convert it to a GIF and use the thing down here. Download the converted file. So there it is now, arrow one dot, dot uh, GIF, GIF and save that file to the, oh, it's going to save it my downloads, that's fine. Do my next one, browse, arrow 2, and it is a shame that Pixlr doesn't uh, have support the GIF, GIF file extension file types, it's a bit of a pain, but never mind, this, this doesn't actually take that long, and you get very good at it very quick at it. Arrow 5 is ready to convert. Convert that one. Great! So we've got our little our, um, little images ready. Now the next little piece of, of uh, software that I use is Unfreeze. Now if you do a Google search for Unfreeze, U-N-F-R E E Z without the E. The first res result that you'll get is this here, this unfreeze by witsoftdev.com. And if you go there and you need to download it here. Now don't don't you this download button will download um an, an image converter, a trial of an image converter. You don't want that one. What you want is you want this little this one here. So download that and install it. And then I'll show you what we do. This is uh, this is it here. It'll put a little um, icon on your desktop. So double click that, and then all we do is we just drop our, our GIF files, GIF files in there. So I'll open up my. Uh, where do we put them? They're in our downloads, aren't they? And here they are. Here. So. You can select them all at once, but whatever order you drag them into across here is the order that they will um, they will be made into the animation. So, um, as I say, select, you can select them all, but make sure that when you select, you hold down the select shift key if you're on a PC at the top and then down at the bottom. But to drag them across, make sure you drag them from arrow one, otherwise we'll put them all in the wrong order. Which is okay when you've only got five of them, but if you've got 20 of them, it's a bit of a pain in the neck because you have to rearrange them. Now this little one here says loop animation, so it can just do it how it does just does it once and then stops, or it carries on, and we want it to loop. Now the frame delay, this one here is in hundreds of a second, so this is this is how quickly you want it to go through each of these uh, little images, move through them. So a hun 100 is one second, so we're going to put it, say, maybe put it at 30, so that's one, roughly sort of one third of a second, second for each for each image. Okay, and then we just go make animated GIF. Now that'll just save it. Uh, we'll just get it to save it to the desktop. We'll just call that a uh, oh, www. Don't think I've already got an arrow on there. Yeah, it's fine. 
save it and here it is here now if I double click on that so we have created our arrow now all you do is that is just that is just loaded into your uh, web page exactly as you would just a normal image so what you could do with this is you could make one uh, squeeze page page with just a normal arrow just a, a non animated arrow and then the second squeeze page with an animated arrow and do a split test to see which is more which which one you get higher conversions from so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and make use of it